hi everyone and welcome to a brand new playlist and in this playlist we are going to cover different microservices pattern i mean in your daily life you might be hearing all these different terms event driven cqrs circuit breaker pattern serverless design pattern right event sourcing all these different terms you might be hearing in your day to day development so here in this playlist i will try to categorize them first into the major categories and then we will talk about each and every most commonly used design pattern so first we will try to understand what is microservices okay how it is different from our legacy monolith pattern okay so this whole course is divided into couple of sections if we just take a look on to that section 1 i will be covering microservices with versus monolith okay what are the differences what are the pros and cons of both the approaches and introduction to microservices how to build them so we can choose any particular technology either node js java just to build uh, the set of microservices okay we will talk about what is microservices like you are writing lot of apis lot of services A lot of services are talking to each other through HTTP, through SOAP, through gRPC, through TCP. What actually we will call a particular service as a microservice, okay? And how these services can talk to one another. In section two, we will categorize these different microservice pattern into different categories. So we will talk about broadly about aggregator pattern, API gateway pattern. Okay, these are actually major categories. Inside them, in inside these. you will see a child categories of microservices i have covered the whole chart how these are divided then we will co cover only most commonly used pattern which we use in our day to day life which is like gateway pattern api gateway event driven design pattern uh, cqrs pattern serverless design pattern and circuit breaker, breaker pattern shared database pattern all these things we will talk take a look in section 4 i will talk about microservice orchestration first of all how to build the microservices currently if i need to write a single service using node js i can write what if i wanted to write multiple services and i wanted to have a proper communication between services seamless communication without any failure then what are the approaches i can use okay and then development of these microservices with the help of docker compose and kubernetes because we will be using containerization to create these microservices on our local machine okay so we will be using containers to create one service per container and then we will establish com required communication between these different containers locally so we can simulate that with the help of docker compose okay section 5 we will just talk about different tools for microservice orchestration what microservice orchestration is so it's all about toolings and building different microservices on your local workstation okay so guys let's get started i have already covered few set of videos which is talking about different microservices i'm just talking theoretically so initial my agenda is to talk theoretically about each and every pattern then we will see how we can start building microservices just using docker and docker compose and then if you are able to create one microservice then you will keep building these blocks of services and we will establish the required communication between them and then we will do a hands on of these pattern locally okay so this is all i'm going to cover in this whole playlist thanks everyone